everybody all over the world. Hi, and welcome to, not IGBS, but a, rather a talk or a suggestion for something I would like to see in the game, and that is the PDA unlock that gives the engineer the man cannon. Uh, placeholder pictures, pretty much. What it is, well, it's in the description below. Uh, there's a link to the discussion there, but basically, I've had this idea since uh, April 2015, where I thought of the engineer needs more buildings because all it has is a minus entry, right? So we need to keep class integrity and all that stuff, the balance things that makes a good unlock, uh, follow those rules. So if you look at teleporters, basically what they do is they transport you from point A to point B instantly. So they're in transportation, right? Catapult, who launches people around, also deals with transportation. So that's how we keep the integrity by like moving troops forward and, so, and like, you know, logistics of your team, basically. That's like the sole reason why I think this would work. But it needs to be executed properly and has the right tweaks and stuff like that. But I don't, I can't code this in the game. So I'm just going to tell you uh, how to do it. So instead of just having a basic video of just generic gameplay where I just talk about it, why, just, why don't I just fucking show you? All right. So imagine that the entrance is the one, because you have two teleporters, right? You have entrance and exit, and you don't want to give the engineer any less buildings. You want to maintain that because you want a four. You want to keep that integrity. So. Let's say the entrance is the one that makes you go forward and the exit is the one that makes you go straight up, right? So, once it's up, uh, it, can, it can launch you, like uh, like this. That was uh, kind of short, maybe that's a level one, or level zero. So you can do this, right? So you go launch and you can air strafe and land. And that's basically like how it would work. Uh, maybe give the engineer, like you give get the ability, maybe with a mouse wheel or something to adjust the, uh, or maybe with the reload button to adjust the trajectory. So if you want it like there, 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 or there maybe. Something like that. And then you have the other one, which can be useful if you are going straight up. Let's say here, like you put it down on the low ground. Allows your teammates to like get up, back up to the high ground here. And land. And you can also do like all kinds of fancy strategies with this. Because this, uh, this point here can be uh, tough to get sometimes. Um, depending on the defense. Let's say your medic has dropped and the other, other enemy has picked up the uber and you're just uh, pretty much screwed but then the engineer changes and then you get a quick fix going because you know remember you don't take any pushback from a quick fix you put the heavy oh whoops uh you put the heavy on that thing and then you have the medic with him because the medic is going to follow because it's like a uh, it will because you're flying the medic with the quick fix flies as well so it would be a quick fix complimentary and then the heavy goes flying and uh, lands here and doesn't take any pushback lands here and just kills everything and it's super, uh, super gimmicky and, and super fun. So there could also be a lot of potential griefing with this, uh, but it's always with regular teleporters. But like also here on last, you can see like if you have like an exit that goes uh, straight up here, and then you have like the entrance, let's say here. So you can like launch yourself like forward. And also when attacking, you can like put a put an entrance there and put a heavy on it or, or another class and just like jump in. Because jumping is fun. Like we saw with the base jumper, base jumper is like one of my favorite items in, in the entire game. Uh, and it's just a parachute, you know, it's something simple like that. So I think uh, I think this could work So then you have the other thing like you just go up and then you have to like <laughs> Inch your way over and that's pretty much how it works stat wise um, It replaces the teleporters entrance forward exit up um, and um, You can sort of alter your trajectory or the trajectory can be fixed depending on the level um, You also have a recharge timer, which is similar to the teleporter so Act sort of the same, so you get the same feel. Maybe you should be able to stand on it a little longer, you get some like audio or visual cues that you're about to get launched because people who might not want to get launched might not want to stand on it. And it needs to be looking differently enough from a teleporter that it doesn't like look the same. Like it actually looks like a cannon, like maybe like slightly tilted or like has a spring underneath it or something. Um, and the launch distance is the same for every class. And also, um, you can the spy can sap it, you know, because it's not a mechanical thing, it's a engineering thing so it will look similar to like the uh, the, te the teleporter in like the way it looks I think it would be like imagine if it was like this only that this surface was entirely like it has a, had a square like around here and had a spring underneath it and was like slightly taller uh, so that's how you could do that and also uh, it will launch enemy spies of course because it has to function the same way as a teleporter uh, but it will not launch enemy players and um, you won't take fall damage when you land, but you will flinch. Uh, that has to be tweak, uh, tweaked or iterated upon, depending on, on the stuff. Like, maybe you take fall damage if you get hit in the air, or something like that. 
Uh, and also this ties in really well with the my suggested fix for Natasha, which was to have, instead of slow, you have reverse push. So instead of pushing away, you get dragged toward like a tractor beam. Because that would only affect you when you're in the air, right? When you're on the ground, nothing, nothing will happen, pretty much. Yes, so that's it. That's pretty much the idea in a nutshell. Um, be sure to join the discussions if you think this is great. Um, say that you think it's great. If you think it's a terrible, stupid-ass idea, then say it is. Um, I think this could work, definitely. Um, given this is a lot of thought, I think it would be really fun. So, uh, but it might be hard to implement, and uh, it will. It won't work on all maps. So that's why this needs to be properly tested. Yes. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Quack quack. <laughs>